drove it here. Got a new case to look at. Um, this is the um, Z7 Neo. And I got it for quite a good price. Oh, look and see what it actually looks like inside. <laughs> so cheap. Because basically the cooling in this thing is not really thought through very well. But for the use, I'm going to put it through. It's quite okay. I mean. I don't know how they really thought. You have like these side vents here, and then you have three fans in the front. But this is glass in the front, so you get no airflow through them. But I mean, otherwise, it's um, RGB all the way, and it's uh, quite a nice internal structure. And it comes with fans, yeah, so there are three in the front, and then you have one in the back. Actually nice. Ah, it's sometimes nice to actually have and these thumb screws. It's interesting. I can't actually can't actually open them at all at all. But that's the front side, so you really would like to open that. And then this is the back panel to get to the back side and those can be open. Well, there's no way I can open those without a screw. So I have to go get a screwdriver. So anyway, now I got a screwdriver. Plastic on both sides. And there's this color there. Back. Front. So it's got a nice protected area here so you can um, put the power supply in there and hide it out of sight with all its cabling. 
So I actually got a fan controller here, or a lead fan controller, not that bad. Gonna have to sort out these headers, and then it has drive bays. presumably here. Okay, these are mounting brackets, so you can unscrew these and put down two and a half inch drives on those if you like, and then presumably full sized or even, I'll have to check the holes. Maybe you can even do two and a half inch power supply slots in there. And it's got a dust grill on the top. So yep, just remove that. Magnet magnetic. USB outputs there. And the strange design thing that everybody's complaining about is, <laughs> is this exactly this glass with three fans behind. Uh, more to do with aesthetics than efficiency of cooling. Quite sturdy feet. With some anti slip I wouldn't say that it's perfect. It does slide around the table quite easily. Oh, well, it takes a bit of a grip. Otherwise, standard ATX dimension. Let's see what they are in terms of accessories. Okay, a whole bunch of you know, screws, some zip ties, and an extra back panel. So, yeah, pretty. I don't think it. I think it's actually quite a nice case. If one doesn't take into account the slight deviation in cooling, I mean, one could improve it by. Actually, one could fit a um, extra fan set on the top and just have these three in the front for aesthetics. Even though it does have side cooling, uh, or airflow fans on the side. Yeah, no, I think we'll be able to build what I intend to build in this one. So, anyway, if you thought this interesting, um, please consider pressing the like button. Uh, also, subscribe as possible, and um, if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee, there's a link in the description. If merch is also available, there's a link for that too. And all the money will go towards improving the channel, doing projects. Yeah. And I'll be building in this, so keep an eye out for the next video.